spin faster. You only spin, yeah. Like that. When you cut out, you go in the piece. Wow. Yeah. Wow, so fast. Hey everyone, we're here at Veloholics where they got a new Dura Ace 12 speed group set showing. So I'm right here, I'm with Doug. Hey Doug. So he's just gonna walk us through the new 12 speed and answer all the questions that we have for it. Hopefully all the questions. Happy to be here. Yeah, so I'm Doug. I'm the local uh, uh, Shimano representative for, for Vancouver. And we've got some of the first 12 speed Durace 9270 group sets uh, out in the market. Uh, we launched uh, over here the priority pack. So some of our top dealers could have group sets in their, their entirety. Uh, and we've got it installed here on a beautiful Cipollini. So some of the big stories to be telling with this group set is uh, we've got um, wireless shifting. So the, the hydraulic shifters on the bike speak wirelessly to, uh, to the rear derailleur, now no longer having a junction A in the bar or, or wires uh, throughout the frame. And then the rear derailleur and front derailleur are hardwired in to a seat post battery that's inside here to give stable voltage and, and fast and efficient and reliable reliable shifting. Both shifters themselves have coin cell batteries uh, installed uh, on the inside underneath the hood cover here. Those are lasting by our, our engineers uh, estimates of a year and a half to, to two years and this is kind of Shimano's estimate so even that's probably uh, very, a very conservative uh, estimate. Reshaping the, um, the texture and uh, shape of the hood design as well. This is something that, that consumers who've been able to ride it have really noticed. With the, the growth of gravel over the past couple of years, riders with hydraulic disc brakes have really felt the, um, the larger size of the shifter here, hooking their hands and giving them great, great comfort. And so while these are very much uh, road dedicated group sets, having that, uh, that shape and that lift here as opposed to uh, previous generations has really been received very well. Um, changing the, the reach of the, the position as well and the position of the buttons. But what the, the other main thing that's coming with these is the introduction of servo wave. Um, servo wave is something ported over from, from our mountain bike technology that uh, affects the, the, the rate and scale of braking uh, when you actually apply the lever. Uh, and, and what it's going to mean on the Durace and the Ultegra systems uh, for 12 speed is a, a ramping up and scaling up so that you get uh, that initial great contact bite and then uh, great performance at the end. Um, if we look down here at the brake caliper as well, so this is the new one piece uh, Durace brake caliper MT900 rotors. These are 10% wider in terms of the clearance. So if you've been riding a road bike over the past couple of years uh, after a long descent, the rotor gets heated up and you're probably hearing that ting, 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 oh, yeah. ting. That's, that's very annoying. Like on a mountain bike, you're doing so much other fun stuff, you don't really notice it. On a road bike, you, you hear it and it's a little annoying. This, uh, having that, uh, the actual brake pads retract 10% more, um, giving more room and allowing that, that rotor to cool um, will just, just improve the rider experience. Drive side chain, side. Have you got a chance to ride this group set yourself? I haven't. Okay. Um, uh, with the one of the, actually, the, here's a, a great great thing to, to morph into. We know we're in the middle of a of a uh, pandemic bike boom, and it's uh, causing um, supply chain issues. We're shipping more every single month than we ever have, but demand has gone from here to here, and it's just it's just huge. Um, yeah, it's so, so hard to get our ha a hand on a bike now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're you're putting in an order with a shop now, and you know. Hopefully four or six months uh, later is, is coming. The chain, um, this is the M9100 chain, so it's it's shared with our 12-speed mountain bikes. Uh, so it's a, a product that's already been, been in the market and produced for years and years, uh, but we know we need more of them. Um, but with these uh, supply challenges, knowing that 
there are very, very few standards uh, that have been changed on the system. Uh, using a new e-tube wire, it's a smaller diameter than on previous road systems, but we've already had it in the market for a year, year and a half with the Shimano EP8 Steps um, e-mountain bike system. Uh, and so this is something that several shops already have or was very, very easier to, to get and get more. The cassette, the new 12-speed cassette, mounts on a standard uh, Hyperglide free hub. So if you've got a set of wheels from three, four years ago, you're not having to change that necessarily to, to run the new 12-speed cassette. Or think of the number of, of customers who have smart trainers, right? And the difference of being able to say, no, if you buy a 12-speed uh, Shimano Road group set, you can get a second cassette and mount it right on that on that smart trainer versus having to change the free hub on that or, or changing some other standard. Same thing with, with the bottom bracket. This is the same bottom bracket standard that Shimano Hollow Glide 2 techs have used, uh, sorry, cranks have used for, for years and years and years. Um, three chainring options now coming on, on Durace, um, a 5236 and a 5440, both that have been there uh, in the 11 speed systems. And now on the, on the top end, uh, for time trial and, and pure racers, we have a 5440 option. And then on the back, the rear derailleur, there's just one skew. So uh, whereas in the past we had a short cage and a, and a GS, a mid cage on, on Altegra, now both Durace and Altegra will run uh, the 1130 or the 1134 cassette. So this is, this is an exciting thing. It's the first time that Durace has had a pure one-to-one -one, uh, option. You can do a 5034 up front and 1134 in the back and get a, a pure one-to-one -one, uh, gear ratio on the road. And this is exciting because in the past several years, if you're, um, if you're doing a lot of climbing, if you're, you're a Durace customer, but you've, been, but you've got a trip over to Europe, and you're gonna be doing a whole ton of, ton of riding in the mountains up there, you've had to downgrade your rear derailleur to Altegra and cassette to Altegra to run an 1134. And Altegra works fine, but when you have a Durace bike, you kind of <laughs> want everything to match. That's true, yeah. <laughs> uh, and so now with, with 12 speed, with, with 9270, where we've got that as an option. And okay. it's, it's really exciting. Yeah, so see. lots of options uh, in terms between the different chain rings and the, the two cassettes we have for, um, for gearing options for, for racers and for uh, long distance and, and, and all of this. Okay, um, cool. One of the, the, the questions that's come up um, uh, certainly is uh, off, with, the, with the boom of gravel, right. right? These are still dedicated road group sets, so they're, they're two by up front. Um, that, that 11, sorry, that 50, 34, and 11, 30, and 4 in the back is the, the easiest gearing there. So we don't really have, with these group sets, because they're not meant for it, that that easier than one-to-one -one ratio that you'd be looking for in a, in a gravel, gravel setup. For that, we still have our GRX 11-speed drivetrains out there with mm -hmm. both one-by and two-by options. Do you know if GRX is going to 12-speed soon? I don't. Oh. The, the story now for 2022, it's going to be Durace and Altegra's years. Because that's, that's another thing. In the past, Durace gets launched, and then as the industry, we all know that Altegra is coming at some point. Right. Um, now this is the first time in Shimano's 100 year history that both group sets were launched at the same time. Mm -hmm. So August 31st, the, uh, the, the, the product were launched and to have, have both families there uh, is really exciting. Um, so much on Altegra is direct trickle down. So you're getting the same wireless shifting, you're getting, we haven't talked about shift speed, but the, the rear derailleur is shifting 58% faster than previous systems and the front is 40 well, I'm gonna to have to look at my slide. 45% faster. Mm -hmm. um, you're getting that exact same technology in Altegra. Um, material use is different, as, as is always. Um, you're getting the same rear cassette, so Altegra gets an 1130 and an 1134. Uh, and then many of the same options on the front crank. The only option you don't have is the, that 5440 um, time trial racing uh, but the 5236, 5034 are, are going to be the two standard options for Altegra. Same hood shape, um, same, uh, same performance improvements on, on the brake calipers. Um, and so it's really, yeah, it's just really exciting to have all of this information, uh, all of this, this technology trickling down to Altegra and trickling down right away. The other things that are coming that have never been seen in Altegra before, you get a power meter, 
option that's coming. Um, previously, that's just been at the Durace level. And then carbon wheels will be coming as well. Um, the, both Durace and Altegra are getting C36, C50, and C60, and that's the, it refers to the depth of the, depth of the uh, rim coming for, for 2022. Um, and in my mind, the Altegra wheels are actually gonna sell more, sell better, because the free hub on those are designed to work for both 11 speed and 12 speed. Okay. So the, the, the new Durace wheels, 12 speed only, they have a, uh, an L, a new free hub body, uh, L2 free hub, that's going to allow for a lighter weight hub, um, but also strong and, and durable. And there the expectation for the customer is if you're buying a Durace set of, a new set of Durace wheels, we expect you to buy a 12 speed group set. Right on. Durace or Altegra. And that's, I think, a reasonable expectation. Yeah. But if you're in the market for a new carbon wheel, but are currently running an 11 speed bike, buy the Altegra wheels. And then in a year from now or two years from now, if you upgrade your drivetrain to 12 speed, you can take those wheels with you. Oh, that makes uh, sense. And yeah. they'll be, and they'll be up, uh, uh, um, uh, kind of future proof that way, mm -hmm. which is really exciting. So no more uh, junction box living underneath your stem or in your bars. Uh, all of that functionality, the charging, um, the, the, the setup and, and kind of master control unit uh, is now all housed within the, within the rear derailleur, within the, the RD9250. So charging port on the back, um, uh, function button to, to pair it and to uh, move it to different things. It's also going to uh, pair with um, with an iPhone, or with a, let's, I won't say iPhone, with a phone, with, uh, with Shimano's uh, E2 app, so that you can set up and you can, um, you can change some of the functionality. Customization that we've known as in the past, so um, setting up synchro shift, setting up shift speed, um, the, the button operation on the shifter, so you have button here, button here, and a third button that's on the top, which has existed in previous, uh, previous models, that's all customizable. And I'll use myself as an example. I actually shift what the what the buttons on the on the shifters do, just for how my hand play to spin on it is. Um, it's how I like the like the buttons to actually operate. So compared to standard, up goes down and down goes up. Mm -hmm. And then this button on the top, and this is a third thing that's in the rear derailleur, is wirelessly communicating with many computer heads that are on the market that are set up for, for Bluetooth and, and ANT plus transmission. So previously, we've always had a little um, wireless unit, we call it the D-Fly, that you've been able to plug into the system and it, and it uh, transmits the information. As it's an accessory, it's, it's something else. It's not something that's been uh, fully adopted by every DI2 user. Now, with Shimano 12-speed DI2 systems, every single Durace and every single Altegra rear derailleur is going to be transmitting this, this information. So if you've got a, a Wahoo or a Garmin or other compatible head units, now you can have your, um, your battery level, your gear information all displayed right in front of you on your, on your computer head. And I was just reading uh, the other day that Garmin has updated the firmware on many of the computers to, to kind of bring this in. So if you're worried about, say, battery life of the system, you can have this battery and the left and the right shifter indicator right there on your, oh, wow. on your, on your Garmin. So at the end of your ride, check and say, hey, it's time to go make sure you charge your bike before the, uh, before the next ride. Okay, nice. And having that integrated just by default into the the rear derailleur is a is a really really cool system and it kind of brings the the um the features of di2 into you know the the 2021 2022 year that we're in mm -hmm. so hyperglide plus is one of the technologies that's coming with the 12 speed drivetrain and really what makes this the the, the best shifting uh, possible because you can have a derailleur that shifts really fast but if the chain and cassette don't match with that, you you know, like you would kind of get get um, get hung up. So Hyperglide Plus was actually introduced with our mountain bike group set with XTR uh, M9100 series uh, several years ago, and that's the um, the pairing of the chain and cassette together and ramped so that you can shift up and down the cassette under power, under load, and the system is going to shift. And we we know this if you've been riding a bike long enough. Um, you know, someone who's, who's been riding longer than you has probably taken under your wing and taught you to 
as you're pedaling and shifting, kind of take the power off your pedal stroke just a little bit when, when, you, when, you, when you shift. Um, and really with Hyperglide Plus, you don't need to do that anymore. So you're gonna to have to, you know, in a sense, relearn how to relearn how to ride a road bike. Um, so when you have a 12-speed Shimano chain, this is the uh, M9100, uh, the M8100 for all Tegras there, and they're all they're all cross compatible on uh, one of the Hyperglide Plus 12-speed cassettes. You can shift with power up and down, harder, easier, and and a system will. Uh, will work with you. Uh, how it how it kind of operates uh, in a nutshell is is the cassette is holding on to the chain as you shift. So let's say into an easier cog, it's it's holding the chain in that cog that you are in as it moves into the cog that you're going to, um, and and it just means that there's not a loss of loss of contact, a lot of loss of power as you're. Yeah, as you're, as you're shifting, and it's going to be a great experience. I think it's something that, uh, when you get a chance to ride new Durace or, or Altegra 12 speed, um, you're really going to really going to notice and, and really going to enjoy. Awesome. Look forward to riding it. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Really liking the new design of the Durace, actually. Um, yeah, so maybe I have a question. Uh -huh. um, is there any like rumors for 105 if that one's going to be electronic? Do you know anything about that? Um, I, I don't. Okay. Um, uh, very much the uh, the information is given to me um, when it's needed. As a sales rep, I'm good at selling things, yeah. so I don't want to know about the product oh. before I can't. Yeah, before it's unavailable. Um, Shimano Shimano uh, is 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 constantly and consistently engineering everything, and so when it's ready for market. I'll know about it, and then a couple days later, you'll know about it. Makes sense, makes um, sense. Is, is, is how it all works. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, so there we have it. Um, thank you, Doug, for showing us the new uh, Dora Ace 12-speed. You're most welcome. Awesome.